Today marks the first Sunday of Advent for 2020. And Advent is a church calendar phrase for the season that comes before Christmas. Um, and Advent comes from a Latin word which basically just means important arrival or coming or eventual arrival, adventually, something like that. I'm no expert. Um, and uh, I think one of the things that uh, I liked about discovering the tradition of celebrating Advent starting in, uh, or this, at least this year, late November, um, was this concept that we put a lot of emphasis in our culture on Christmas. There's a, there's a huge amount of people that celebrate Christmas. Um, and we, the, the tendency is to make it a really important day. Um, you try to have that perfect um, moment with uh, Christmas morning or that perfect moment with a Christmas dinner um, or a series of dinners and whatnot but it's it's like the the uh, advent is a way of saying that look this this kind of thing can't be contained to one day there's a, there's an anticipation moment which is in a sense um, even better than it can, can be even better than the, the moment itself because um, anticipating things is awesome um, and uh, I have lit my first candle for Advent here. This is the Prophet candle. It's my owl candle, gift from Alana. And uh, I'm going to read a section of Isaiah um, from the Scottish metrical paraphrases from the 1700s because it sounds cool. The race that long in darkness pinned have seen a glorious light. The people dwelt in day who dwell in death's surrounding light, night. To hail thy rise, thou better sun, the gathering nations come. Joyous as when the reapers bear the harvest treasures home. For thou our burden hast removed and quelled the oppressor's sway. Quick as the slaughtered squadrons fell in Midian's evil day. To us a child of hope is born, to us a son is given. Him shall the tribes of earth obey, him all the hosts of heaven. His name shall be the Prince of Peace, forevermore adored, the Wonderful, the Counselor, the Great and Mighty Lord. His power increasing still shall spread, his reign no end shall know. Justice shall guard his throne above, and peace abound below. Behold, the mountain of the Lord in latter days shall rise, on mountain tops above the hills, and draw the wondering eyes. To this joyful nation's round, all tribes and tongues shall flow. Up to the hill of God, they'll say, and to his house we'll go. The beam that shines from Zion Hill shall lighten every land. The king who reigns in Salem's towers shall all the world command. Among the nations he shall judge, his judgments truth shall guide. His scepter shall protect the just and quell the sinner's pride. No strife shall rage nor hostile feuds disturb those peaceful years. To plowshares men shall beat their swords, to pruning hooks their spears. No longer hosts encountering hosts shall crowds of slain deplore, deplore. They hang the trumpet in the hall and study war no more. Come then, O house of Jacob, come to worship at his shrine and walking in the light of God with holy beauties shine. Rulers of Sodom, hear the voice of heaven's eternal Lord. Men of Gomorrah, bend your ear, submissive to his word. Tis thus he speaks, to what intent are your oblations vain? Why load my altars with your gifts, polluted and profane? Burnt offerings long may blaze to heaven, and incense cloud the skies. The worship and the worshipper are hateful in my eyes. Your rites, your fasts, your prayers I scorn, and pomp of solemn days I know your hearts are full of guile, and crooked are your ways, but cleanse your hands, ye guilty race, and cease from deeds of sin. 
Learn in your actions to be just and pure in heart within. Mock not my name with honors vain, but keep my holy laws. Do justice to the friendless poor and plead the widow's cause. Then thou your guilty souls are stained, then though your guilty souls are stained with sins of crimson dye, yet through my grace with snow itself in whiteness they shall vie.